Our next question is question number nine. Top surface of a raised platform is in the shape of a regular octagon, as shown in the figure. Find the area of this octagonal surface. Octagon is a figure having eight sides, and it's a regular octagon given to you. Regular means whose all sides are equal. One side five centimeter given. It means all these sides will be of five centimeter. Now we have to find out the area of this octagonal surface. It is mentioned here that this diagonal is of eleven meter, and this distance is of four meter. This line is parallel to this one. It means this is a trapezium. Now what we have done, we have joined these two points also, so that we can get one more trapezium here. Now this figure is divided into three parts. This is first part, first shape. This is second shape, and this is third shape. First and third, these two are same. These two are trapezium and are of same dimension. This side will also be eleven meter. These two sides are of five meter. So this second figure is a rectangle, and this third one again a trapezium. 11 meter and this is also of 5 meter and the perpendicular distance between these two will also be 4 meter so now how to find out the area we'll write here area of octagon that will be area of first shape plus area of second shape plus area of third shape now first and third these two are identical these two are same and second is a rectangle now how to find out first shape area will be half Into b one plus b two into h plus second is length into breadth. It's a rectangle plus half into b one plus b two into h. We'll put the value half into this side is of eleven meter and this is of five. So five plus eleven and the height is four. Eleven into Five rectangle is here. Now again five plus eleven into four. So this will be thirty-two meters square. This will be fifty-five plus again it will be thirty-two. So we'll do the total. One hundred and nineteen meter square. Now next question, question number ten. There is a pentagonal shaped park, as shown in the figure. Find for finding its area, Jyoti and Kavita divided it into two different ways. You have to find out the area of the park by these two different ways, and you have to suggest: is there any other method to finding the area that you have to think later on? Now, first of all, just look at the figure. It's a pentagonal shape, means five-sided figure. This side fifteen meter, this is fifteen, and this is also fifteen, and here is a triangular part. these two sides are equal and the total height is 30 meter now jyoti what she has done from the middle she has drawn from the one vertex to the opposite side she has joined and divided into two trapeziums and kavita she joined this portion and divided into one triangle And a square. 
Now first of all, we'll find out the area by Jyoti's diagram. So here, this length will be of 30 meter and this also 15 meter. This total is 15 means half of this will be 7.5. This also 7.5. Now two trapeziums we have whose bases are base 1 that is 15 meter and base 2 that is 30 meter and distance between them 7.5 meter. So area of pentagon will be two times area of trapezium because there are two trapeziums two into half b1 plus b2 into h so this will be 15 plus 30 into 7.5 And this will be 45 into 7.5. These two will cancel. And this will be 337.5 meter square. Now we will find out the area by Kavita's method. She has divided into two parts. One triangle and one square. All these sides will be of 15 meter. The length of all these sides will be 15 meter. We have to find out this perpendicular means altitude of the triangle. Total length is of 30. Till here this is 15. So this height will be height of triangle will be 13 minus 15 means 15 meter. So now area of square part that will be side into side 15 into 15 225 meter square now area of triangular part that will be half into base into height base 15 height also 15 so this will be 112.5. Now area will be area of square part 225 plus area of triangular part 112.5 meter square 337.5 meter square. Result is same. So you have to find out is there any other method by which you can find out the area? Now you have to complete till question number 10 of this exercise. Thank you and have a nice day.